With the release of Gemini 3 and Nano Banana Pro, two tools that are pretty mind blowing and that have pretty generous free tiers, I figured now would be a good time to explore what else is out there that people can dive into for free. Gemini 3 is pretty much the best chat model out there right now with reasoning capabilities, research capabilities, insane coding abilities, and so much more. And we could use it for free right now inside of the Gemini app and inside of Google's AI studio. Nano Banana Pro is the best image creation and editing model we've seen to date. And Google's letting us generate a limited amount of images every day completely for free with that as well. These two models alone can do pretty insane things and I've done full deep dives on them in recent videos. So in this video, I'll be sharing nine more tools that you can play with right now at no cost. I'm going to skip over some of the obvious ones like ChatGPT and Claude and Perplexity because I've already made a ton of videos about these. These are the tools that I actually play with pretty often myself and that have pretty great free features. So let's dig in. Starting with number one, Whisperflow. If you're still typing everything out, there's an easier way. Standard dictation isn't always the best and often skips formatting and doesn't fix your mistakes. Whisperflow is kind of what dictation should be. It uses advanced AI speech to text models to capture exactly what you say, even if you mumble and it formats it perfectly. The free version is pretty generous as well and it lets you just talk instead of type. Watch how fast this is. I'm just gonna ramble a bit with some tech jargon thrown in there. Hey, I need to draft an email to the engineering team regarding the Kubernetes migration. Make sure to mention that the latency issues on the pods seem resolved. Also, did we ever fix that issue with the CSS grid not aligning on mobile devices? And if you look at that, it's got perfect punctuation, technical terms spelled correctly, and it's faster than I could type and you can use it for free for up to 2000 words per week. And from here on out in this video, that's what I'm gonna use to type my prompts type my prompts. Tool number two is the Comet browser, which is actually my new default browser. We probably all have too many tabs open and the web can be kind of chaotic. I but Comet Browser is trying to fix that by baking AI directly into the browsing experience. Instead of switching tabs to ask ChatGPT something about the page you're on, Comet lets you interact with the web page directly. The free version actually gives you access to all of these on-page AI tools as well. Okay, so I'm on this massive article about quantum mechanics here, and well, I do not have time to read this whole thing right now. I could just pop open this sidebar here and ask it anything about the specific page. So let's go down to our chat bar here and using Whisperflow, I'm gonna say, explain this using bullet points and use simple language that a 10 year old could understand. And there we go. It read the article and it translated it perfectly. This saves so much time when researching. It can also read multiple tabs at once. So check this out. I actually have three tabs open with three different articles. Our quantum mechanics article, this IBM article about what is artificial intelligence and a Wikipedia page about space exploration. Let me open up my little tray here and I'll ask it, look at the three open tabs and find the similar concepts across all three. Go ahead and submit that and there we go. We got a nice breakdown of the overlapping concepts here. Frontiers of science, interdisciplinary nature, technology as an enabler, transformative impact, philosophical questions. Again, awesome for researchers and people that like to deep dive on topics. Tool number three is Notebook LM, and I'm kind of obsessed with this one, honestly. It's still probably my favorite tool on this entire list right now. If you're a student or a researcher or anyone who has to deal with long PDFs or finding information across multiple documents, this thing is a game changer. You upload documents and it becomes an expert on only those documents. And the free version lets you create multiple notebooks with tons of sources. I'm gonna take this long, dense manual from my Sony camera here. It's 557 pages long, and I'm gonna toss it into Notebook LM here, and now I can ask the manual specific questions, like how do I change the frame rate in manual video mode? And it gives me the exact step-by-step -step of how to get to where I need to go to change these settings. And it even gives me citations 
from the source material so I can go and click in and find the exact step within the manual. But the real magic feature that pretty much everyone's obsessed with right now is the audio overview feature over here. This feature takes your boring documents and turns them into an engaging to host podcast deep dive. So just listen to about 10 seconds of this. Welcome to the deep dive, the place where we skip the obvious setup guides. Today, we are doing a deep dive into the help guide for the ILE FX3 digital cinema camera, specifically uh, for firmware ver2 and later. Riveting. All right, so number four is segment anything three, AKA SAM3. Now, this one is super cool, and it happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Meta just released a new video and image AI model called SAM3 that can detect, segment, and track objects automatically for you. You just tell it what you wanna track, and it follows that object across the entire video. Now, there are two main ways you can use SAM3. You can choose from a variety of templates, or you can start completely from scratch. Let's try the template route first. You can see all these different templates and styles here like contour, clone, and bounding box that are all very popular in videos. There's also the blur background effect or even a pop-out spotlight you can put on specific objects. All you do is pick the one you like and click use template. Then you select or upload the video you want and instantly the template is applied. And once it's applied, you can still customize it. So you can swap out the background effects, change the way objects are styled and really make it your own. But say you want to start fresh and have even more control. Here's how that works. First, you upload your own video. For the Instagram reel I made on SAM3, I used a behind the scenes video of my filming setup. But for this example, I wanna use a panning video of my entire studio. Once the video is loaded in, you'll see a text field where you can tell SAM3 exactly what you want it to detect. So for my studio video, let's type in keyboard. I hit track objects and just like that, SAM3 locks onto my keyboards, tracking it frame by frame as the video pans across. Next, I can choose what effect I want. And you don't have to stop at just one object. I can add tracking for my lights and my microphone and even add a different effect to each one. Suddenly my studio transforms into this dynamic professional looking walkthrough where every piece of gear gets its own spotlight. This is something that would normally take hours in traditional editing software, keyframing, masking, and adjusting frame by frame, but SAM3 does it automatically. And the fun part is experimentation. Try combining effects in different ways. Blur everything except your highlighted object. Change the background color entirely or add glowing outlines that follow the object as it moves. And because this is a meta product, SAM3 is also coming soon to Instagram edits. That means you'll be able to use these same object tracking effects directly inside your Reels edit workflow. So after you create your content, you'll have the option to edit your reel with SAM3 powered effects before posting. So whether you're making a polished tech demo, adding flair to your vlogs, or just experimenting with cool effects, SAM3 makes it simple to turn everyday footage into something that feels cinematic. You can try it today in the segment Anything Playground. Just check out the link on the screen and in the description box. And thank you so much to Meta for sponsoring this portion of today's video. All right, on to number five, Canva's Magic Studio. Now, Canva is already a pretty famous tool, but their new Magic Studio AI features have taken it to another level. So if you're terrible at design, like me, this one's for you. While the pro version has a lot more features, the free tier does let you use their magic design to generate templates from scratch using just text. So I need an Instagram post for a fake event. And I'm just gonna type it right here and by type, I mean, speak in Instagram post announcing a midnight ramen pop-up this Friday at 10 p.m. Give it a cyberpunk aesthetic with neon colors. All right, let's submit our prompt and look at that. <laughs> it didn't just give me generic templates. It actually read the cyberpunk prompt and tried to match that vibe. And I can click into one, open the Canva editor and start editing this thing immediately. It basically did 80% of the work for me. I mean, honestly, maybe even 95% of the work. Need to move the text around or change it? Easy. It's honestly pretty impressive. Now, in the spirit of full transparency, I do need to mention that I do have a teeny bit of equity in Canada. I do love it though and think it's an awesome platform for people who don't want to learn complex design tools. All right, moving on to number six, Kling.
Now we're firmly in the era of AI video. And while Sora 2 is actually pretty amazing, it's not quite available to everyone yet. It's also a bit more censored than most people like. So what can I get you? How are you doing that with your mouth? Now, Kling on the other hand is a pretty incredible model. You could prompt almost anything with it and pretty much anyone can try it right now on a free tier. The free tier actually gives you credits to generate short five second video clips from text or images and the quality is getting scary good. Now the key here is giving detailed prompts. So let's try something cinematic, a cinematic low angle shot of a vintage 1960s Ford Mustang driving down a wet city street at night, neon signs reflecting in puddles, slow motion. All right, let's try that. It even generates it with audio. So check this out. I mean, look at the reflections in the water the consistency of the car. I mean, the whole thing's not perfect by any means, but for a free tool generating video from text, this is pretty wild. All right, now let's pop an image in. So if I go to image to video here, I have an image that I created of Walter White from Breaking Bad. It's actually an image that I generated. It's not a real image. And let's give a prompt of, there's an explosion in the background and the man throws the bag of blue rocks. And here's what we got out of that. We got him throwing the blue bag of rocks and we got the explosion, did what we wanted. I mean, the face gets a little wonky when it zooms out, but again, you can use this for free. Tool number seven is 11 labs. And if you need text to speech for a faceless video or a presentation or just for fun, 11 labs is currently the gold standard. The voices don't sound robotic. They actually have like a slight breath to them. There's inflection, there's emotion and their free tier gives you 10,000 characters per month, which is plenty for shorter projects. I'm going to select a pre-made voice. Let's go with Adam here. He's a pretty popular conversational American male voice. All right, so I'm pasting in some text designed to test the natural speaking ability, and here's what we get. Wait, you're actually listening to an AI right now? That's honestly kind of wild. You're telling me that I'm an AI model and not a real man? Bro, you're kind of scaring me. I mean, if you've been on YouTube lately or TikTok, you've probably heard that voice, but there is some elements to it that make it sound more realistic, the way it pauses. And there's some like subtle breath sounds in there and things like that. And if you did actually want to upgrade your 11 labs account to a paid version, you can actually train your own voice into it and have it speak like you. Now, I personally did the quicker training process, so my voice isn't amazing, but here's the me in 11 labs. Hey, I'm Matt Wolf's voice on 11 labs. I don't know if I'm fooling anyone, but if Matt would have done the more in-depth training, I would likely sound a lot better. Damn you, Matt, damn you. All right, so number eight is Suno, and this is probably the best music generation platform, at least in my opinion. Suno is basically ChatGPT for making songs. You don't need to know how to play an instrument or how to write lyrics or how to sing. And the free tier is actually pretty decent. You get 50 credits a day, which is enough for about 10 songs every day. You could just type the description of the song you're looking for, or you can toggle custom mode and actually add your own lyrics. But just for the sake of speed, let's use the simple mode and we'll create a catchy, upbeat pop punk song about why everyone should subscribe to Matt Wolf to learn about the latest AI news and tools. It should have fast drums, male vocals with an early 2000s punk vibe. It took maybe about 20 seconds, but we can actually sample the songs already. Click the button, don't hesitate. AI news at your front gate. Faster than a thought can wait. Matt Wolf knows the future's fate. Subscribe to Wolf, stay ahead. Every tool, every thread. Subscribe to Wolf, don't delay. Tomorrow's tech, today. Hell yeah. It's genuinely pretty catchy. I mean, it structured the verse and the chorus perfectly. And I had the song in like less than a minute. I mean, probably less than 30 seconds. And finally, let's talk about Marble from World Labs. We're now moving from 2D images and videos into full 3D world generation by AI. Marble's allowing us to generate explorable 3D scenes from text prompts. 
This is like brand new territory here. And the free beta lets you generate a scene and then actually move the camera around inside of it. So let's try to build something cozy here. A cluttered, cozy alchemist studio. Potions on shelves, old books stacked on a wooden desk, a bubbling cauldron in the corner, warm candlelight. Okay, and let's create this world. Now this wasn't the fastest thing in the world. It did take a few minutes to generate but it generated this image here. But let's go ahead and view the image because while this might look like a flat JPEG, I can actually now move around in this world. In fact, the WASD keys actually let me move through this little room that I created. This is just still blowing my mind. Like this is so wild. A single prompt generated this 3D room that I can move around in. I can look behind things that weren't in the original image and it understands the 3D geometry of the scene. And if you have a meta quest, you can actually open this in VR. I've experienced it. It's crazy. And then if you want, you can actually take a bunch of these worlds and string them together in a much larger world. This is one that you gotta jump into, play with it for free and see what it's capable of because this is wild. And this is just early days for this tech. This is like what Stable Diffusion was for image generation like three and a half years ago. This is what GPT-3 was back when everybody first learned about AI. But this is probably the future of asset creation. I imagine full game worlds and background environments for films are going to be prompted into existence in the near future. I mean, we can do it now, but this is only gonna get better. So there you go, 11 incredible tools. I mean, if you count Gemini and Nano Banana, which I mentioned in the beginning, doing everything from 3D generation to podcast creation. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> and you can start using all of them today for free. I've got all the links down in the description below. Also, I'm coming across new tools every single day. I built the website Future Tools to curate them for you, but it's a big internet out there, and I know there's a lot that I'm still not aware of. So if there's some awesome free tools that I didn't mention that you absolutely love, well, spread the wealth. Let us know in the comments. I'm sure other people looking in the comments will really appreciate it. And if you like videos like this one and you wanna stay looped in on the absolute latest AI tools and news, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'm doing my best to stay on top of all of it for you and then reporting what I find. Either way, thank you so much for nerding out with me today. I really, really appreciate you. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for nerding out with me today. If you like videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I'll make sure more videos like this show up in your YouTube feed. And if you haven't already, check out futuretools.io where I share all the coolest AI tools and all the latest AI news. And there's an awesome free newsletter. Thanks again. Really appreciate you. See you in the next one.